Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and this is Matt and Sarah's World. It's been a while. Um, yeah, sorry there's been no videos for a month or so by the time this one goes up. But yeah, a lot of um, things have happened in our actual lives. So I learned to ride a bike, as in a moped, which is great. Uh, so obviously we're out getting the gear and getting a bike and this, that, whatever else. Sarah's also started a new job. Well, a new job. She's been promoted to store manager now, which is fantastic. But because of everything going on in our lives, we just haven't had time for this, to be honest. But yeah, we're back at it now, and hopefully, we'll be able to get our normal regime back up eventually. I'm not saying it's going to happen immediately, because we'll see. It depends how long it takes. But I'm playing Minecraft, and as you can see, I am not starting from scratch. That's because I was originally going to start from scratch to do videos on this because I've never played it before. However, I got carried away. <laughs> so I should probably show you around. Let's start from the outside, shall we? So this is my base. This is my area. This is my AFK fishing farm, which if you don't know what that means, it's so you can fish. You can just leave it running and it will fish for you, basically. Um, <coughs> obviously we have all of the animals, well not quite all of them, but all the farm animals, we've got pigs, sheep, cows, far too many chickens and two horses that I've managed to find. Oh, if you want saddles, do some AFK fishing, I've got hundreds of them. And I've also started a little villager thing here. So you see we've got a guy in here, this is for trades, so this is what I've got at the moment. Eventually I'm going to fill this up with villagers. I might show you how I get villagers in here, but I probably won't show you every single one because it is quite time consuming and you'll probably get bored of all of that. Anyway, the rest of my base. So this is my farm farm, if that makes sense. So I have everything here I need. I have another wart to brew potions or what have you. I have potatoes, I have wheat which I need to plant some more. Apparently, there we go. And I have pumpkins. I don't know why I have torches there. Just as you do. I also have carrots. I have watermelons, and I have sugar cane. That's what it's called. My brain died then. And <coughs> this, this is like my front door. I am incredibly proud of this. This took so long to do. It's ridiculous. This is the first redstone contraption I've created. So what I do is flick a switch and the door she opens. And this is obviously bamboo. It's getting dark so the mobs are going to start spoiling soon. Fantastic. But yeah, all I do is see if I can view it so you can actually see. Flip a switch. Open closed. That's one hell of a door. This is obviously my um, enchanting, that's it, I couldn't think what it's called, enchanting area. And this is my house. As you can see, it's not the prettiest house in the world, I know. But I've taken a few tips, I've been watching videos and a few tips and tricks and things. And yeah, let's go inside and have a look, shall we? So yes, I have a dog, I haven't named him yet. But he stays there because I'm scared to death of losing him. I have a clock in a photo frame. It's the only way you can get it on the wall. If you make a clock and try and put it on the wall, it just won't let you. It's just the way it works. Um, obviously, anvil storage. Now I have a basement, which at the moment is just more storage. So more chests, more chests, and obviously outside you can kind of see some of my security system where I place. I want to the Nether and place some lava blocks farm some lava blocks and place them around my base. I need more to finish it off. But what this means is any drowned or anything that tries to come into my base will, obviously if they try and cross the water, you'll get sucked in on there and die, is the general idea. Close that up. And then before I take you upstairs, this is the extension, if you like, because originally it was just this. So this section here and then upstairs and downstairs. I have an extension because I wanted more space. I've got my brewing station here, my CD player thing there, more storage, some glowstone, 
Looks sort of like I said, I've been to them there, I found some stuff. These are all the stations. <coughs> so obviously, crafting table, a couple of furnaces, a block that it's for stone. So if you want to, that's wood. That's not going to do anything. If you want to, we won't do anything for that either. So, do, do, do. so it's to convert stone into its various forms. Um, obviously, I have my blast furnace for ores and ooh, there's food in there. And my smoker for food. That's the one. I also have a little balcony area, as you can see, so I can survey upon my area. Now, I a little caveat. I have got a few mods enabled. I've got fabric, and it's API loader, which allows me for that map you see in the top corner, top right corner. That's because my sense of direction is appalling. Appalling to the point that I was getting lost in Minecraft. I thought, well, there's got to be some way to get a map. And this is the best one I found so far. So if I press N, this will go vlog, Foxy or Map or whatever it's called. This allows me to. So it also allows you to put um, waypoints down. So as you can see, my last death was, yes. This area, which I will show you in a second, obviously this is my base area. But what I need to do is kind of, because at the moment it goes up, go over to the T and you see I've got this area where mobs can get me. I want to try and like cut off, so I'm kind of isolated, apart from the bridge, which I will do eventually. But this is incredibly useful because obviously, like I said, it. It, uh, what I like as well, it only shows areas you've actually been. So if you haven't been to an area, like up here for example, it keeps it covered. So you can't just go, ooh, there's that, there's that, there's that, across the map. You actually have to go there first, which I like because it means it's not just a case of, ooh, there's things, let's go over there to things. And I've also got, what else have I got? I've got the... The silk touch thing that allows you to use silk touch to pick up spawns. I can't think what it's called. But yeah, so I can pick up spawns and move various mob spawns so I can make farms easier, basically. And obviously, this is my aquarium. I have a puffer fish and two other tropicals. I mean, I did have two puffer fish, but I came back one day to find one of them out of the tank and dead on the floor, which is useful. Hence, why I've put the I can jump there you go. Hence why I've put the slabs on top. And then we have another upstairs, which is just where the bed is. But I want to show you my spore. Hello chicken. I want to show you my random egg, why not? The spawner I've made. Actually no, before I show you that, I need to show you yeah. So this is where I've put my nether portal. hidden underground because pigmen and all sorts will come through there and the last thing I want is to come to my base and find it infested with god knows what from the nether and this the, the, where are we? here we are this is also to my mine so obviously I dug down as you do is there something down there? I thought I saw something move. Apparently I need to block that because that's the only way down. Basically it's that stairway. Because that leads to a stairway which goes all the way down. So I've also built this which is my water... My brain has died. Water elevator. That's the one. Which obviously allows me to go down, down, down into the depths without having to climb for miles upon miles upon miles. Because, as you all know, diamonds spawn between a particular level, and I think it's like um, it's more common between like 11 and below. So I went all the way down to level 10, gone down even further. As you can see, it tells me where, what zone I'm in. So six. That's the wrong way. It is. Here we go. This way. This is where I've been strip mining, so I've literally just run along 
with a No good. I obviously ran along with a pickaxe and just obliterated everything in my path to get diamonds and other various resources. Oh my god, there must be like a creeper spawn around here somewhere. There must be. Behave. This many creepers just to show up out of the blue. Even that was coincidence. I like that little tinkly tune as you grab levels. But yeah, as you can see, this is where I've been strip mining and what have you. But yeah, I've gone so far into this tunnel system. I've gone loads that way, even further this way. This way I had to stop for a bit though. Mainly because I hit lava. Oh, hello. Goodbye, goodbye. I want to find a. It's because how dark it is down here. I want to find a zombie spawn because now I've got that that um. Is it cleric? The one villager I've got. He trades rotten flesh for things. I didn't even see you. That's not very nice. Oh. Creepers and a witch. Jesus. That's raw. That's raw. Why have I got raw stuff out? Oh, don't eat too much raw food. It doesn't do anything for you. What you might do actually is use the. Come on, blow up, blow up, blow up. Blow up already. Oh, you just. Fine, we'll do it this way then, will we? I've been cast with something. What have I been cast with? Whatever it is, it's killing me. Why have you got a sword? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> that is not a fantastic start, is it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I don't want to lose all of my shit. Oh, that's why, because it was on hard. For fuck's sake, why did I have it set up? Why did I respawn here, of all places? I've got no idea, it's just going to take me months and days to get through this block. Come on! There we go. I still can't fucking get out! <laughs> come on, come on. Right, let's go. I need... It's also daylight. Which is quite weird. Why is it daylight? I need to get my shit back. So yeah, a little trip. If you die, and you're like me and don't want to lose all of your items, going to peaceful mode instantly gets rid of all the mobs. Yes, I know it's a bit of a cheat, and yes, I know people don't like people doing it, and blah, 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 blah. However, I do not particularly want to lose my items because of a bad situation like that. So, if you go into peaceful mode, it instantly gets rid of all the mobs for you. Which is great if something like that happens and you lose everything. And there's all my shit. Ooh, I didn't pick everything up. Not good. Especially because I spent loads of time making all this diamond armor. I didn't, don't want to lose it, thank you very much. Because of technicality. Where's my shoes? Shit. <laughs> Why have I got so many? I don't want a stick, thank you very much. 
Thank you. So everything. No. Why have I got so many bastard eggs? Fishing. Uh, yeah, that's all my main stuff. Mm, what to you first time look I've got hundreds of them. Right, so after that little adventure and losing all of my levels, glorious. Yes, I know there's loads of redstone that I haven't mined yet. That's because I haven't needed it. I've got loads in my inventory. I've got to the point where <coughs> I need to make some kind of substantial storage system because I I need to organise my stuff to start with. I've literally just got stuff for free. It started out organised, but obviously as you do, as you do some AFK farming and what have you, everything's just kind of been melded into one thing. Come on, up you go. Thank you very much. So, and do, 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 dump some of this off. See, I even have potions that I didn't even use. Why didn't I use potions? Ugh. I don't know. Which one are you? You're my silk touch pickaxe. I might put you in here actually so I don't lose you. What are you? You're cooked. Or cooked. I have two stacks of cooked salmon. Jesus Christ. Why do I have so much? Why are you in two separate stacks? Uh, I don't need so many sodding eggs. I mean, seriously. I suppose that's what would you get for having silly, silly, silly amounts of um, How did you get out? Excuse me? You want to explain to me how you got out? How did you get out? Seriously, excuse me. through that? I suppose it's not a block, so... I mean, I can't walk through that. How did you get through that? Anyway, a little bit sidetracked. Right. So... What else was I going to show Yes, the rest of my base. Right. Get rid of these 
these eggs. Far too many. Right, so obviously you've seen the observatory or the observing area. Now, actually, I'm going to have to change it back because it's not going to work. Just go normal mode for now. But down here, as you can see, there's lots of redstone. But I have created a little blaze farm. Now, it's not perfect, I know it's not perfect, but how this works up there, there are loads and loads of pistons. So, when I press this, it knocks them down to one level. Then when I press it again, it knocks them off. So I can just come on with a bow and arrow or a sword. The problem is, if you get too close, they can see you. But there's two ways of doing this. You can either back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Or if you've got, like me, a bow of infinity, just... Ooh. And sometimes you have to knock out blocks to get to these. I might just replace these with hoppers. You saw me. Because obviously these hoppers you can select and grab the bits out of. However, you can't grab them if they're all the way over here. Or in that corner. So I might have to replace those two little hoppers. But yeah, press it again. What I might do is replace this with glass so you can actually see. There you go, down they come. Down they come. Get our sword. Ah ha ha! Now, if I got now, they're just gonna blast the crap out of me. Yep, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't they just sound delightful? Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to replace those with um, hoppers or something because that's wasting blaze rods. But yeah. What well, I might actually show you how it works. So if I go into DDD peaceful mode. There you go. They're all going to vanish, and then I can show you how this works. So, if I get rid of those blocks, I can then grab these. So, if you look up, you see that's the spawner, and if you look around the edge, there's loads of loads of pistons up there. So, and along this side where it's thicker, I've actually got sticky pistons with an extra block on, so they push out completely further, a lot further. So, that pushes everything off of there. Then obviously you have this ridge here, where the only place they can otherwise land apart from down here in the kill zone is on this ledge. Now because I've had to make it two back, because how I designed it, which was a bad idea, um, it means if you're stood here and something's in that corner, even if this is fully blocked off, they can still see you and they will attack you. So it's not the most it's not the best design ever. But it works. So if I press that button, see all the pistons fire, press it again. There you go. One more time, just for a look. There you go. So as you can see, everything fires, or all the pistons fire, creating, obviously pushing everything off the edges, which forces them all down here into the kill zone. Which as you can see it works. Not the best design ever and not the most um, what's the word? Efficient. However it does work. Now with blazers, I don't know if it's true for other mobs, but I know for blazers, because I was originally planning to kill them with water, which is why this is the shape it is. I see lots and lots of redstone, lots of capacitors, lots of pistons. Now originally it was a case of there was a spawning area that with pistons and push them off into a water area which would then obviously kill them but if you kill blazers with water they don't drop anything they don't drop blaze rods whether it's because of my version of the game I'm playing Java edition so whether it's this version of the game or Where the fuck is he? 
Oh, you're now a cartographer, are you? How did you get out of there? You're, you're, you're now a cartographer. Is, is, is that what you're telling me? Is that your chosen profession? Are you being serious? I'm wondering if I need to dig these down one, but I'm not sure if I can because of how I create them. I might have to dig them down one because they're still able, he's obviously able to get out of there, which isn't what we want. So this at the moment is just one block thick. This area, because I built this area from scratch. It's just one block thick. So how am I gonna do this? Well first of all we're gonna need some kind of material, aren't we? To place down. Uh, let's go cobblestone. It's probably the best way for it. And then this end sex why do I keep picking up things? Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah, so if I... What I might do actually, because which is why you're my subtitle, so let's move you away so I don't accidentally use you. Ah, oh, that's wood, so I need the max anyway. If I put you there in front of the bed, then I go down one. Here. That means I should. If you press crouch as well, it stops you falling off the edge, which is the best of tips. Build on top of a kelp forge. Jesus. Come on, I've only got three minutes. Not all day. This is where I extended because that's where the edge it originally was. Now to get in my base. Oh my god, the boat's in the way. Come on. <laughs> right. So. Thank you very much. Now, by getting rid of all this ground, you 
you should leave cobblestone underneath. Yes, you do. So I'll just do that. Then if I do, 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 do the bed, put the bed. Oh, for God's sake! Helps if you have the bed highlighted. No, don't want to sleep. Now, once they're in, theoretically, that. There is no way for him to get out now. <laughs> I'd like to know how he got out of here in the first place. The only thing I can think of is maybe that's not quite a block, so he was able to somehow get through. Which, of course, isn't what we want. <laughs> See, I might have been a bit too generous with these because I might have been able to, if I do it like that with the space in front, they might not have been able to get out. That makes sense. So I might have only needed to go two by two. Let's do this one, seeing as we are. I still don't have a shovel. I need to get a shovel. I could just break them so easily, even steel shovels, I just go through them like nothing. I mean, honestly. Shouldn't I be far enough away, really? I don't know how he got in there, to be honest. I honestly don't know how. But what we will do is do this, do this. So hopefully he can't get out. Seriously, how did he get in there? That's completely sealed. <laughs> he probably really just hates being a cleric. Course is no good to me nor you. Right. Oh, there goes to bed again. Get rid of you. Oh my god, I'm really sneaky about this. Get rid of you, get rid of you. It's not what we wanted to do. Do that. I'm gonna to have to get rid of this block again, I was just not gonna let me build the fucking bed. There we go, put the block there. Okay, seriously. Aren't you awake yet? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a double block here so he can't escape into the rest of my base. I'm also, if I leave that there, I don't believe he can get out anyway. So, See, I'm wondering if this doesn't class as a full block, which is why he was able to get out of it. So, me wonders. Shut up. If I put it, it's not going to let me put it on top of the block, surely. It is. So, that probably would have stopped him escaping in the first place. Right. <laughs> so if we leave that open then for our next one. Hello. So yes, trades. So he still classes a cleric, even though he's now currently stuck in there. Right. Oh, that's because I've traded with him. Yep. Come on, out you come. Get out. Come on, out, out, come on, get out. I will give you a reason to complain in a second. Where are you going? Oh 
Oh my god. A word to the wise. <laughs> you can use a fishing rod to kind of pull these guys in a certain direction. Seriously, I'm going to fucking hurt you in a minute. Come here. See, now you're just in the way, aren't you? Come on, come to me. I'm going to do that. Now, let's see you escape from that. You know, I will replace these with normal blocks eventually, don't worry. See, why do I keep hearing? It must be these guys eating the grass. Right. Now, hopefully, am I gonna have to do the same with you is the next question or are they gonna step over you as well yes quite possibly <laughs> Skelly spawn that I found. Now I'm going to be using my silk pickaxe to get that, and I will show you my version of a skelly farming thing. So obviously they drop arrows, they drop arrows and bones, which you can bone to bone meal, which are very really useful for growing plants, be it trees, veg, whatever. Now I am going to go to the same village I got this guy from. Which was, I believe, I'm going from over here. But there is one that's closer, which is here. But that's a lot of land to go over. It's not much different from over there. See, so you want to find yourself a village that is quite close. I mean, the best village to get a villager from would be this one. It's here. But that is miles and miles and miles away. So if we make a highlight point there, which this isn't in the vanilla game, this map system isn't in the vanilla game. It's only through fabric, um, a modern fabric that I'm able to do this. Now, what I found with villagers is if you create a bed for them, they will automatically sleep in that bed. If you haven't traded with them beforehand, their profession will change depending on what tool you give them. So if you're a blacksmith, you put a furnace or whatever you want. Look online, there's plenty of research and it will tell you what each villager needs to um, what's the word? To be whatever. Now villagers are also useful for trades. So those are what I've selected for now. So Let's go over to this village. What have I actually got in my inventory? Too much stuff. But let's go over to a village. To my chosen village. And I will show you how I get them home. I'll probably skip past this bit because it is quite a journey. the neutral mobs, so fish, pigs, animal, cows, whatever. Obviously if you're looking for something specific that's very useful. Yes, I know it's kind of cheating but you know it's a mod, get over it. <laughs> that's what mods are for.
So right, once you've found your village of choice, you need to make sure this is a different village to so the first one I went to. Once you've found your village of choice, first of all you have to make sure there are villagers there. Now the easiest way to see if there are villagers there is find the bell. There are villagers because there's a farmer over there. <coughs> that hurt. That was a bit far. Could you have still got this in peaceful mode? I would suggest it in peaceful mode, at least for the first few times because it's not the easiest. What you want to do is once you've found your village that you want to harvest villagers from. No, I've already raided this place. That's why there's hardly any villagers there. Now, you don't want a guy like this who's got a green tunic on because he will never be able to become anything. It's just the way it works, they're like the village idiots from what I can understand. So if you choose a guy like that, this village is empty. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's any actual villagers here apart from the novice. Okay, this may not be the best example, I definitely think I've gone to the wrong village. So nobody else here. Okay, so there's oh, you're a librarian. So you'll trade paper for diamonds and then books then diamonds for books and enchanted books. Flame. Okay. Mm, do not do that. So what you can do is ring the bell and it will summon all the villagers. He says. As they all run off. So you don't want him because he's the idiot. We have a librarian and you are jobless. So we need a librarian anyway. So once you found a village with villages in, you need a direct route to the ocean. That's it can go down but it can't go up. So like here, where I've had to jump up, that's no good. Because my method at the moment is I'm using a boat. So I the only way to get them up is to use a piston. So this little lake doesn't quite lead to the ocean. Oh my god, I need to stop pressing Q. There we go. So I'm just gonna quickly zoom off over here because from the looks of my map this doesn't quite lead to the ocean. There's a small gap in the way. So I must say a small gap is quite a substantial gap. So this here, now does, just check, does that eventually, no it does not. <laughs> okay, so I'll have to take them over land quite a way. I can't just dig that out to the ocean. Well I could, but it'll be longer than what it's worth. Okay, so you need to plan a route, so if you're taking a villager from a village to years yeah, water there, thankfully. Is that sun setting? I believe that's the sun setting. Oh dear. So yeah, you need to find a route to the ocean from your chosen village because that's the quickest way to get them home. Unless of course you want to use lots and lots and lots of rails. The other way to do it is with a minecart. But that's quite an expensive route. And unless you've got the resources for it, I wouldn't suggest it. So, what's our easiest method or our easiest route to? Cobble 
stone and I have a stick. And I can always get more sticks if I need to. So if there's a table somewhere, which there normally is in the village, I can table anywhere. Maybe there's a furnace. Uh, we didn't want to do that. You just picked up some seeds, you weirdo. Right, so in that case I need to make a crafting table. Um, I don't have enough Don't have enough wood for that, okay. It's good. I've got this. Thank you. And then, do, 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 crafting table, thank you. It's always good to have enough resources on you to make a crafting table because then you can make such items as. I'm going to need a shovel, stone shovel, you will do. Thank you. Because I now need to create a route to the ocean. And so that's our nearest ocean point. That way. So I need to make a flat route from here. I know I just made a stone shovel. What did I? Did I actually make a stone shovel? It's in my. There we go. <laughs> I switched hands for some reason. So you want to be at least two by two if to get because you need to get a boat through basically. So you need at least two by two to get a boat through. Obviously, the shortest distance is a straight line. If you need to go around a bend because there's, I don't know, a mountain in the way or whatever, then go, I'd make it wider for the bend, if that makes sense. I'm sure I'll never get the boat around. Did 
you that for, really? <laughs> that wasn't the best place to put it. Uh, to be this one wider to get the paint around. But it should just about fit around. There we go. So, dee dee dee. Obviously, the kinder way of doing this is with rails. You just place the rails and they change the terrain to what the rails need to go over them. So, this part of it is definitely quicker on rails, but like I said, it takes a lot of resources because you know you could need miles upon miles of rails to get your villagers out. I heard a cat. Where is it? Did you like stuck up a tree or something? Seriously, where are you? Oh, there you are. Mr. Ginge Cat. But no, you need um, was it tropical fish, I think. The cats. I haven't got a cat yet anyway, which I will get one eventually, don't worry. So. Jesus. <laughs> so we don't need to dig to go down. So if we use that to turn, well, that'd be, there's about a ton and a half of beach to go through. Jesus Christ. Right. So The other option is doing this while you're in the boat, but that takes much longer, trust me.
create yourself, especially if you've got the resources to it. So we'll dug through there, go through here, and this is where everything the problem's gonna be. So if I pick up some sand, what I will do is dig you out slightly, because I don't really want to dig all the way through this, especially because once I go up, what, three blocks, it's going to be null and void. So what you can do is, if you go to the highest point, which is here, and then you create yourself, that's what I'm doing, like a funnel, if that makes sense. create yourself a pathway. So we'll grab some more water. So I said going down is not the problem, it's going up that you can't do. So I need a little bit more water so that's where it dies. So if I were to use these blocks to funnel this a bit more, just where it's veering off. Now, theoretically, I should be able to do that. Okay. So now for the fun part. There's so many sheep here. So go all the way back. And what I'm going to do, you are in the perfect place. I'm going to put you there. Where's my fishing rod? There's my fishing rod. You are going to come here, sweetheart, whether you like it or not. Come on, play nice. Really, you're, you're gonna be that pedantic. Well, if that's the case. My boat is gonna go there. turn the boat round. So I'm going forwards and row on the land. <laughs> you can go far a bit faster but this is pretty much your top speed while you're on land. <laughs> if animals get in your way don't be scared to dispose of them. whether my water theory will work or not because I've not tried it before. So, get out of the way. We 
we shall see. <laughs> but I've got a feeling it's not. And if it's not, we will come up with a plan B. Are you going to go up? You are not going to go up. Okay, you do kind of slightly. Are you going to go up enough? No, you're not. Hopefully, yes, you're just going to walk into the bike. Thank God. Okay, so this isn't going to quite work how we thought. Well, how I thought. It was worth it. Right, now, <laughs> I have finally got myself ready to get a villager. Now, it may have involved me building a map. Um, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get back to where we were. That took hours, that looked near enough, took me an hour to do that. But yes, I have basically built a fucking River now. Now I just need to find a villager. There was room out here somewhere at one point. He was hanging out around here before. Where is he? Where are you, Mr. Villager? Is that why you're not coming up here? If I put my boat down, I might be able to use my rod to get him over here. No, he's not coming off of there. you got there.
So if I didn't have Bellagenti, you're going to go up there again. Is the next thought. You are going to go up there every single time, aren't you? That's an interesting mechanic to me. Haha! I have you. So I need to go over there. Because that's where my river coast that I created. So yeah, getting villages can be quite arduous as it's taken me nearly two hours to get this one. But I am so glad that peaceful mode is on, else this could have been a hell of a lot harder. But yeah, um, rails are definitely quicker, but it depends on what resources you have. And I don't particularly want to be making hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rails. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yes! This is the river I created, as you can see. All the way down here. Little. No. No. Have you got to be kidding me? <laughs> Come on. Let's not be doing this now. Or I completely screwed the game. So yeah, they're not easy. Not by any means are they easy to get your hands on. Of course, the easiest way to do it is to make a, um, a villager breeder. But then again, you have to get villagers for that as well. So yes, I am kidnapping a villager because I want to do this. lava rock there and there's the beacon to my home no it's not that's the beacon to my home that must be to the skelly cave no what's the oh that's my last death why did i die over there i honestly can't remember but no i found because it's night this guy is automatically going to want to go to bed so discovered if you now because you can't go anywhere else oh you're going to become a cartographer are you very good Ethereal doesn't bother me in the slightest. 
I haven't traded with him yet, so that should be a possibility. Now the question is, are you still in there? Yes, you are. Why are you just standing on your bed? 32 for an emerald and one emerald for two. Okay. I'm wondering if it's just a case of the... There's not a bed there. Well, no wonder there was a bed still in my inventory. It's not quite what we wanted to do. There you go. There's still a bed down here. Yes. Okay. So yes, that is one way to get a villager. Very long and arduous way, but that's definitely one way to get a villager. Right, now I can get rid of this. Thank you. Because yeah, you want to keep that up because they will then go, they will then halfway to the closest bed. It's definitely less arduous than my first attempt. Hello, doggy. Right, I'm going to go to bed and i'm going to leave this episode here so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoy it and i will see you in the next one